guys, it's Alyssa. It is Tuesday, the 5th of May, and I have my first test results from the RE back. So, basically, <clears throat> my thyroid test came back, and it came back abnormal. It came back high. It was She ran the TSH test, which actually tests your pituitary gland um, because they indicate each other, I guess, or something. I don't really know how that works, but... Um, basically, it showed that my thyroid is underactive, or as my RE put it, a little sluggish. So, uh, if you remember, I think I mentioned this in my last video, when I had my thyroid tested, um, it was December or January, um, <clears throat> maybe November. Anyways, when I had it tested a few months ago, it came back slightly high. She said, my RE said she likes to see it at 2.5, and mine was at 2.7. Um, this time it came back at 3.53, so even higher than it was before. I do not have the genetic indicator for thyroid. Um, that was part of the blood work I had done uh, with my OB. But um, she said that your thyroid is, it's not a lifestyle um, issue. She said it's usually stress-related or a hormonal imbalance. So it's not, okay. I'm going to totally butcher this, but it's it's an indicator of something else going on. It is not, because I don't have the um, genetic component, she doesn't think that it is the cause of what's going on. She thinks it's an, a symptom of something else, if that makes sense. So, um, basically what happened was, on Friday, I got my online chart thing all set up and got a notification late Friday afternoon that I had a test result in, and it was the thyroid level. I didn't hear anything all weekend, um, no one had a chance to look at it, I guess, and then yesterday I got a message from my doctor basically saying it's sluggish and she would like it, um, like to put me on meds, so she prescribed a, I think it's level thyroxine, um, they're little tiny, tiny pills that I'm supposed to take once a day, and she said we'll keep, she'll keep me on them throughout pregnancy and, um, that it's something that I'll need to have monitored, um. So, yeah, so I started my thyroid meds yesterday, and um, that's kind of what I know as far as that goes. My other results, the uh, council genetic screen is processing, so that's a good sign. I know the latest I'll have those results are next Wednesday. They said that that's when I have a scheduled counseling session with one of their representatives, they call you, um, they make you schedule a counseling and you have to, you have to talk to them on the phone about your results. I think that's, um, just part of their policy. Uh, and then, so I know at the latest next Wednesday I'll have those results. And then the other, the only other test we have, um, to wait for is Tim's karyotyping, which will take longer to get back. So, yes. So my thyroid level was an issue, and I, I'm wondering, I haven't actually talked to my RE on the phone yet, I think what's going to happen is once we get all the results back, she's going to have us come back in and meet with her, um, but I wonder if if the if it fluctuating means something, so I don't know yet, but that's sort of where my, where my thoughts go. Uh, but yeah, so I started that today, and I'm hoping, I actually looked up a lot of the symptoms of underactive thyroid after, and I have a lot of them, so I've just, I've never, I've never known that that's what they were. <laughs> you know, I've always just assumed that that's, that it was just, it was just, it's just been normal for me. So, um, hopefully this will make me actually feel better, um, but we'll see. So, I think that's everything for today, and as you guys know, we are not, trying the cycle, we are actively preventing the cycle, so I won't be doing a lot of TTC updates. I am still um, tracking temp and I'm going to do OPKs just because I want to make sure I know, you know, for future cycles. And um, I believe she, my RE, I'll have to, I'm going to send her a message just to double check, but I'm pretty sure she wants me to do my progesterone uh, supplement, even if I'm not actively trying, just to be um, consistent and to and you know, just in case. <laughs> so that's what I know for now. And I will update you guys in the next few days if I learn something new. <sighs> Baby dust, all of you guys. Oh, uh, one of our fellow TTC sisters um, just had a miscarriage. So remember to keep 
even the women who get BFPs, they it still might not be it. So just remember to keep all those women in your thoughts and in your hearts um, in case the worst does happen. So yeah, that's what I know today. Uh, I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon.